all new Xiaomi Mi A3 is one hell of a budget smartphone. It offers a stunning design with respectable hardware and an amazing form factor that's like a breath of fresh air in today's market, which is just littered with large, unwieldy phones. However, one of its most discerning features is that it runs stock Android out of the box, making it the go-to choice for those of you who don't like MIUI. But while stock Android is great for reasons like, you know, faster updates and no bloatware, it does fall short when it comes to useful features and customizations. Thankfully, that can be easily fixed with just a couple of handy apps. And that's exactly what we are going to talk about today in this video. Hey guys, this is Abhijit from Guiding Tech and let's get right to it, shall we? First, let's take a look at a couple of essential apps that are just missing on stock Android and then we'll move on to some great replacements for stock apps that you should check out. So kicking things off is Files by Google, one of the best file managers that you can get on the Play Store which addresses more than just one issue with stock Android. Not only does it give you easy access to all the files in your device's internal storage, but it can also be used to quickly share them with users who also have the app installed on their phone. On top of that, it also has an impressive built-in storage cleaner which analyzes your phone and provides helpful recommendations on how you can free up some valuable space. The app gives you suggestions to remove junk, downloaded files, duplicates and large files that are taking up space and you can get rid of them with just a single tap. Speaking of duplicates, I am sure you're probably aware that stock Android doesn't allow you to make clones of messaging or social media apps so that you know you can use multiple accounts at the same time, right? Which is why Parallel Space is the next app you should get. The app lets you create a separate instance of apps like WhatsApp or Facebook, allowing you to easily use two different accounts at the same time. And it's fairly simple to use. Just go through the initial setup choose the apps you want to add to Parallel Space and you're good to go. There's just one small shortcoming though. You'll only be able to use the duplicate apps from within this app. On the upside, however, it also includes a cool incognito installation feature which essentially lets you install any app just within the Parallel Space. Now this can be really useful if you want to install some app on your phone but don't want it to show up in the app drawer. Moving on, there's the Screen Recorder app which is also a must-have simply because you don't get one with stock Android. Now there are a bunch of different screen recorders on the Play Store but this one is arguably the best out of the lot. It's simple to use, includes pretty much all the features you'd want from a good screen recorder and it's completely ad-free. No watermarks, no banners, nothing. The only downside is that it doesn't include support for internal audio capture, so if you plan on using it to record gameplay footage, you'll have a tough time recording the in-game sounds. Next up, we have the Mi Remote app which is another essential download for those of you who want to make use of the IR Blaster on the Mi A3. It's quite surprising how Xiaomi included the hardware on the phone but chose not to include an app to make use of it. But anyway, it does still offer the app on the Play Store and you should download it right away. The app lets you control a variety of household appliances from different manufacturers and it's pretty simple to use. Just select the type of device you want to control, choose the brand and point the IR Blaster at the device. The app then automatically configures the remote and you are all set. Now another cool feature that you get on pretty much every phone these days is a dedicated gaming mode. But sadly, stock Android doesn't have that either. Which is why you should download the gaming mode app if you want an uninterrupted gaming experience on your phone. The app includes features like automatic call rejection, notification blocking and RAM optimization to provide you with a seamless experience while gaming. And the best part is that it remembers your default settings and instantly switches back to them when you are done playing. And now that we have talked about a couple of apps that bring features that are missing in stock Android, let's take a look at a few that improve upon the included ones. Starting off with our favorite, Microsoft's SMS Organizer. If you've watched any of our app recommendations before, you already know that we here at GT just love this app. As the name suggests, the app neatly organizes all your incoming messages into separate tabs, resulting in a completely clutter-free inbox. Along with that, it filters out spam and promotional messages, making sure that you don't get unnecessary notifications for the messages that aren't all that important. And that's not all, the app also lets you schedule messages 
set up reminders, keep a track of your bank account statements, and much more. You see, it's not just the stock messaging app that's lacking in features. The media player and even Google Play Music for that matter aren't all that great. So you'll also need to download a capable video player and an offline music player on your new Mi A3. For videos, I'd recommend that you get KM Player which supports almost all popular media formats out of the box. Additionally, you get support for subtitles along with a bunch of handy features like speed control, night mode, and even the option to stream videos directly from the internet. You can also use it to seamlessly play 4K HDR videos without any hiccups. But in order to do that, you'll first need to download a custom Kodak, which we have linked in the description down below. For your music library, I'd suggest taking a look at the Pi Music Player, which is slowly inching its way into my favorites. Of course, you can choose to go with other popular apps like Power Amp, but with this one, you get all the functionality they offer, along with the ability to create your own ringtones using any song in your playlist. Now isn't that cool? On top of that, the app also allows you to play music videos directly from YouTube and it even has a floating player option which makes multitasking quite easy. Do check it out for yourself and let us know what you think in the comments down below. Now let's talk about the camera app. With stock Android, you'd expect the Mi A3 to come with the Google camera app out of the box. But that's not the case. Instead, the phone features Xiaomi's own camera app and I'm honestly not a big fan of that. So if you want to take stunning pictures with your new phone, I'd recommend getting the Gcam mod. The app is essentially a port of the camera app you get on Pixel devices and it has the capability to take your photos to the next level. Just take a look. The difference is quite noticeable, isn't it? Well, with the Gcam mod, you'll be able to capture pictures that offer much more in terms of details and have great dynamic range. On top of that, you also get access to pixel-only features like night sight and photo booth, making it a definite must-have. Rounding things off is fluid navigation gestures, which will unlock full screen navigation gestures on your phone. Now, since you only get the pixel style navigation buttons with the Mi A3, you can use this app if you'd much rather use swipe gestures for navigation. Sure, the setup may seem a bit complicated at first, but if you follow the step-by-step -step instructions on the app, you'll have it up and running in no time. Once you've done that, you'll also be able to customize the gestures according to your convenience, selecting different actions for short and long swipes. Well, that wraps it up for today's video. Make sure you check out all the apps from the links in the description down below. Don't forget to subscribe to GT for more upcoming videos on the Mi A3. This is Abhijit signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.